It's uh, Peter Brown here with uh, Ryan McDonald and Carolyn Pettit. We are doing a special 8-bit edition of Now Playing. 8 and 16-bit, if I'm not mistaken. 16-bit eventually, yes. yes. Yeah. We're starting off with Section Z, a Capcom arcade game from mid-80s. Got published on Nintendo in 87. Yes. His... Yeah. And the so the this, uh, this home adaptation, the NES adaptation, uh, kind of expanded on the arcade game, uh, which was more linear, I think, by adding this really intricate, like maze-like aspect to it. Yeah. Which I remember. I don't think I. I think I don't think I own this game, but we rented it or we had it around at some point, and I just the maze in this game is so complicated that I never began to make even the least bit of sense of it. Thankfully, we now you know have maps that we've we've taken off the internet that kind of reveal the whole structure of the game. But they don't. But it still doesn't make. <laughs> There, I, I wish we could like just show you guys what these look like. Right it looks now, like an electronic so schematic. So complicated. Yeah. It's just insane. You'd think, yeah, you'd think, okay, you know, levels one through four, maybe you go up or down, and that'll take you to. <sighs> that'll that'll continue on your way. But if you yeah. make a wrong turn, you're sent back. Yeah. Four it, levels later. It, it would like, be like <laughs> trying to make a map of this with graph paper at home or oh, whatever, God. like like people often did back in the day will be super difficult because yeah. it just the layout just doesn't really make sense. But let's go ahead and and, yeah. and fire up the game here. So do you want to read the intro from the manual? I, I do. So Capcom manuals back then and this is back before they had mascots like or characters like Ryu and Mega Man, even well, Mega Man. I don't know. What do you know? What year Mega Man first came out? Oh, I want to say '87 was the okay. first one. So yeah. So in their very early manuals, they all had a message from Captain Commando. He was their spokesperson. And so here's what it says in the intro for the manual for for Section Z. A special message from Captain Commando. Thank you for selecting exciting and fun-filled Section Z, one of our exclusive family of computer slash home video games from Capcom's Captain Commando Challenge series. Section Z, created by Capcom, premier worldwide arcade game designer, features colorful, state-of-the-art, high-resolution graphics. Okay. So I'll take in those high-resolution graphics. Uh, viewers, <laughs> just just bask in the glory of these state-of-the-art high-resolution graphics. So that's uh, that's your message from Captain Commando. So you guys just saw me take the lower path. Yeah, I want to head a. Ugh. And, and there then he goes. He's yeah. down. All right. So if you get killed by enemy fire in this game, you are sent all the way back to the beginning. If you just run into somebody, you're okay. You're okay. You get to start that part over. Um, but these guys are. Very, very oh. hard. They essentially follow you. Ugh. You can't, you can't just go back and forth and get ahead of them. Oh no, this is not looking good. <laughs> we brought it along an NES Advantage joystick, which yes. has turbo fire and slow mo, just in case. Oh god, Ugh. our skills, our modern skills, don't. Hold yes, up. our, our oh, atrophied skills. Because back in the day, when with these games like this, you needed to develop an <sighs> ingrained. Like personal, just rapid fire ability. You need to be able to make your fingers go just. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Yeah, this is me getting sent back now. So yeah, there was a guy in Japan who uh, worked for Hudson. Yeah. And his whole deal, there were mangas made about it that he could press a button faster than anybody else. Wow. And uh, I believe his name is Takeshi Majin. Okay. Um, and he actually holds some sort of world record. They release like peripherals to like teach you to, like you know get as fast as him and all this <laughs> stuff. Kind of a, that was a big deal back then. It day, was. Yeah. It absolutely. I mean, so many games like Track and Field, for example. I mean, just totally relied on just hit that button as fast as you possibly can. And then, I mean, stuff like the Advantage came along, which if you have an, an advantage and you play Track and Field, well, there's zero. Yeah. Like it just kind of takes all the challenge and skill out of it. So it's totally cheating. But um, you know. But you know, at the same time, it, it's sort of that thing. Like, okay. I have this powerful device I'm going yes. to plug in. You totally. know, these games are so difficult, and yeah. I think it, that's something that we're missing these days, when it's not just like, hey, that enemy has strong firepower. It's like, you need to find the right path, the pattern, totally. and everything, and if you screw up, you don't just load a save and keep going. You, man, you gotta start from the beginning. It's funny, Max Payne 3 obviously doesn't make you start from the beginning, but 
Max Payne 3 and, and some parts later in that game. It was, it was oh, yeah. part I mean, of there it, are, yeah. There are games that, that are kind of still stiff and unforgiving about sending you back a ways if you die. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, sometimes I think a game handles that well and it's, it's fair and it's good, and other times it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. Don't make me play all this stuff oh. again. Oh, wow. wow. Lots of slow down. Slow down, yeah. It makes it ooh, oh. ooh, geez. Oh, God. Give me some energy. Yeah. yeah and some speed. <laughs> I'll give you an energy count okay. status updates. You're 14. 14 out of 20. <laughs> Am I going up or down? Oh, God. Do we know what's. You're in section two. Okay, I would say <laughs> go. Oh, I don't know. Go go down. Okay. And one thing I want to point out to people too is this game uses, you know, Nintendo has two buttons, A and B. Yeah. Uh, depending on which one you press, you fire left and right. It's not like you hit left on the D-pad to fire, hmm. you know, left. So it's, most people might not know that about this game. It's yeah. kind of <laughs> different in that regard. It takes a moment to get used to. I won't lie. Okay. Let's go, bad guys. Oh, I hate you so much. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this one more try and then I'm gonna hand it off to one of you two. All, All right. right. I'm getting frustrated. Of course, now I don't have that awesome weapon. I just have to avoid fire. Let me uh, read people, you know, some of the story background on this game so they can make sense of just what's happening here on screen. Because otherwise, oh, without, really? without context, it doesn't really make much sense. <clears throat> Don't hit retry, by the way. Right. <laughs> yeah, continue or retry. It is now the 21st century. Okay. Boom. Yeah, mind blown. It is now the 21st century. High frequency radio and television communications between planet Earth and the space exploring Saturn space station blast warnings of approaching invaders, then abruptly cease. You and Captain Commando must maneuver safely through four, that's four, levels of adventurous battle scenes penetrating the defenses established by the space soldiers of Bailing Ghoul. I hate Bailing Ghoul. Yeah, Bailing Ghoul sucks. Constantly just getting in my way. <laughs> your, your goal, penetrate Section Z, right, destroy L Brain Master Control, <sighs> defeat the evil space soldiers of Bailing Ghoul, and save planet Earth. As much as I hate Bailing Ghoul, I really hate L Brain. L yeah. <laughs> At least that's what I've been trained to feel. Right. Where am I going, Carol? Section, okay, you're in section four. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say go yeah. up. All right, go up. I like that. Because I think going down just takes you back to section one, which makes zero geographical sense, but there you have it. Uh, oh, God, yes. man, these like spiny fish guys are the oh. worst. I know, they're like, some of the gaps in here are just way too tiny. <laughs> this dude's got robotic thumb going on. Whoa! Oh, oh, was I, got my head no, crushed. Keep, keep right, going, man. Going, right. You got you got to get in the group. I mean, you're doing pretty well, though. You you, you know. Well, thank you. I'm not gonna take that out of your hands until you're, you're feeling it, <laughs> and then I shall rip it from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh. Oh god, what are you supposed to do <clears throat> there? It's impossible I'm to brave squeeze it. through. Squeeze through there. Yeah, like I love how this game actually lets you walk on the ground, <laughs> oh. <laughs> rather than just murder <laughs> you. I'm gonna, for... I'm gonna take it easy for a little while. <laughs> Oh, what is? Oh, that's oh, right. I died by gunfire. Yeah, you died by gunfire. <laughs> that's <laughs> right, BS, man. All right, Carrie, right, you want to give it a try? Section zero. Section zero. Section oh. Z. Oh crap. Carol, you want to give it a go? Sure. Right. Hand that over. You take. You take the map. You be. Oh, yeah. You, you gonna, are now the navigator. I'm going to describe some of these enemies on screen because yeah. manuals used to do that. They Even did. the enemies had backstories. Yeah. All right, what are we looking at here? That is a flash bomb. No, it's not. No. <laughs> That's a crowd eye. Eight of them appear at the same time. They stay in the air and check invaders. They check. They're just checking I'm just you. checking you guys out. Yeah. Oh, S. Letter S. Um, and when they're destroyed, they release energy tubes. Technically, when you destroy the last one, that one does. Right. So it's important to shoot the one that's in front of you. Oh, uh, yeah. If you go for the guy behind you, that's going to that's gonna scroll off the screen right. before you can grab it. Uh, All right, so section one. Let's send you to. Yeah. We went three last time. I think you go so. Two is up. All right, we're going up. Next stop, section two. So this has, this level has a lot of spread fire and a lot of slowdown. Um, right. So be mindful. Are of that. you working on a uh, on an official GameSpot game guide for section? I don't know. Eight? You know, I've been I've been kind of tossing around the idea of doing retro it's game guides because there's a lot of like game facts online, but they're sure. all text, and we can do some oh, some yeah. stuff. Like, if you guys, are, oh my goodness! Oh, if there's anyone what watching, the hell? and if there's anyone watching who's interested in that sort of thing, let us know because 
you know, we are trying to sort of harken back to the games that we loved, and we know a lot of people on the internet really do like retro stuff now. Heck so yeah. any content that anyone's excited about, I can guarantee you we are equally, if not more, excited. So if you can give us an excuse to do it, by all means, like, <laughs> drop us a line in the chat, you know, on GameSpot in the forums. Let us know what you guys want to see retro. Oh my God, so much slowdown. Oh, no. oh lordy. You're doing it though. You're doing oh, a really good, good job. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Feel it. Get some of that energy. There you go. Come on, Alex. Oh, yeah. All right. Good job, Carol. the needle. <sighs> Proving your worth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where am I going, Peter? Uh, okay, you're at from two. You're at two. Yes. We haven't been to Have we been to six? Well, six is where I sent you and you died, I think. Okay. But, so but, but there's like an X in, in six, isn't there? Or uh, like a, one of those transmitter things? Oh, that's a good question. This map doesn't... Uh, six has a closed transmitter, but then it's also like a 12. Oh, so you have to go up to four and then to six. Oh, okay. And then take six down. So go up, okay. And then the next time go down, and that'll bring you to yeah, the here transmitter. We are. All right, section four. All right. Yeah, I'm standing, punks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, give me that S. You go. You go. Oh shoot. That's all right. You got. You got yeah. Energy. Oh no. You're doing such a good job. Yeah. This Japanese oh. show, Retro Game Center CX, they they put the guy, the chief Arino, up to challenges during every episode, and it can take him up to like 10 hours to meet a challenge, and yeah. usually at hour four, he, he calls for the cooling pack, the sort of thing he slaps on his forehead, yeah. <laughs> yeah. visually indicating that, yes, he is losing it. <laughs> oh. That's a fun show. If you like retro games, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I recommend seeking out that show maybe on the internet. It was picked up by Kotaku for a few episodes, oh, and yeah. I think they're releasing a game, uh, like a DVD box set of like the 14 fan favorite episodes. Okay. But there are probably close to 100 of those. Yeah. Uh, oh, dang it. Murdered. 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 And I know we, since we're trying to do all this new retro stuff, that, that's kind of something we're trying to emulate is some of the things they do. Not. Not, you know, like well, segment for segment, but I mean, just I, the idea of playing these games. I like what you, yeah, what you said, Peter, before, like, before we did the stream. I mean, talking about how there's a certain, oh, no, am I getting smudged? <laughs> Um, Ryan, want to give it a go? I like, want to get back in here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, obviously this is a single-player game, but games back at back at that time were still a, often a social experience. There Absolutely. were things that you totally shared with your friends. You passed the controller back and forth. Yeah, you criticize. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, cheer yeah. on. Yeah. You know. And I think it's it's great to kind of remember because I mean, I, I love. Uh, Modern day of like multiplayer gaming, but it but so much of it is just purely it's becoming increasingly like just online only, oh like God. no no like yeah. couch co-op or whatever. And so just there's something special about just that energy of just sitting in a room Passing with your friends, the controller. yeah, and, and trying to beat, eating gross beat food. challenges exactly, ordering <laughs> pizza or whatever. And I think you know so maybe we're trying to kind of remember what that was yeah. like by doing stuff like this. I know. I think we all probably gamed in our basements. Does that sound right? Uh, I didn't have a basement, oh, uh, but um, you thanks go, for reminding oh, me here. Oh, kind of a sore oh, subject. Yeah. You didn't have a basement. I'm really jealous I'm of all the kids with basements. Yeah, for me, my basement was kind of like that. All right, I'm going down. You might yeah. not see me until tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kind of deal. Right. A buddy of mine, he, he basically owned the basement in his house, and that, that's all he did. There was a, like, right before the chain of stores named Funko Land went out of business, they were yeah. the last guys to sort of have, like, every system for sale. Mm -hmm. um, or Games, GameStop now has their only modern stuff. It's, you know, that's a sore subject. Do you want to give Ryan a... I don't want to give me help. Okay, oh. you're in section three. You want to go up to six. All right. Yeah. And then up again. All right. And then, okay. So keep going up, All right. <laughs> essentially, until you get back to six. Um, oh, wait, that puts you at six? Oh, my lordy. Yeah, okay. That did put me at six. Yeah, okay, so you're going to right go up out. again. It's going to take you to one, and then up again to six. Wait, okay. you want to go back to one? Isn't it's, one going back? Yeah, that's what you'd think, but that's the way these maps work. I'm following, this is this is the actual walkthrough. This, this map is clear. Oh, that's, this is telling you this is the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, this oh, is just gotcha. like, this is the universal right, right, right. connection. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish you guys could see this stuff, because it is just mind-boggling. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's all right. Come on, Captain Commando. My dude is tough. Yeah. 
So who, who is this section? Is it like who is this dude? Like, I believe that. See, my interpretation is that this is Captain Commando. Really? And I was of the impression well, that see, it's well, a Captain I, Commando's buddy. Oh, why red. is the one red? Okay. Do you want to go to the red go, one? Oh, that's you, a good. Uh, oh, oh, I think maybe because that because if you look here, yeah. since you're in six yeah. and you got there from it takes me from down three, to three. Oh. Well, you got there from three. So if you're at six and you go down now, I think it'll take you to four. I think you're right. If you go up here to one, one. and then up again, it brings you to that transmitter. All right, so that's what I want to do up. Yeah. All right, I'm doing it. Um, Take section five. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, we are moving. We are moving. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, All right. I think you truly were at the six. See, that, that's why this game is so freaking confusing. All right, so if you go up to seven, yeah. that'll give you a few power-ups. What about that 11, though? Oh, I guess that's where I want to go, huh? The 11 is where you want to be. All right, so seven up, yeah? That's the generator. Yeah, so go, right. go up to seven. All right. Because that'll give you power-ups and stuff. If I can survive. Uh, if you, can, you can do it, man. You can totally do it. You guys over there. Hopper, dude. Hip hop, hop, hip hop. Oh man. Uh, wow. Feel the pressure. I ain't even playing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. All your brains are belong to me. Oh crap. Oh, little Ooh. hopper, dude. Stop. Oh my god. Wow. Look at you go. Look at you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, this is oh, good. You're gonna keep coming. Come on, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my! Oh no! Come on! You got it, dude. You totally right. got it. Oh right. You got it. Yeah. Oh, good right. job. Now which way? Good job. All right. So you were at seven. Is you that an energy go... tube right there? Can yeah. You grab, grab that. that. Grab that thing right, right in front of you. There you good go. Job. Okay. You want to go down to eleven. All right. We're doing it. It better take you to eleven or I. So now should I just up. suicide into a wall just in case? <sighs> no. Don't. Are you sure? Don't, don't. If I get shot though. Just don't get shot. How about that? Just don't get shot. Except for that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm suiciding into the wall. I'm doing the wall. All right. There uh, we go. Look at that. That was a, that was a tactical move. All right. All Strategy. Right. I hope we didn't. I hope we have lives left. Oh no! It's flying doing oh, the flashing oh, thing, oh, and it's whoa. sending me back. Why did it do that? I would have. I would have got smoked when I went to there. Yeah. Oh, Cripe. But this is this is it. This is the fun because every run we're gonna get better and better and better until I guess we get tired and then we get <laughs> and that's when we play Shadow Run. Shadow Run. <laughs> Shadow Run. So I, guess, up. so I guess we should also explain that uh, one of the fun things aside from playing these retro games is that we're 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 actively seeking and searching for these retro games, correct? Yes. Yeah, stores, people that have this stuff, it's all kind of fading into black, and we're trying to save what we can. Um, that's kind of a an effort on our part. We're gonna try to make some some video content around that. Um, and see if you guys might be interested in, in our little journey. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, I probably shouldn't talk about anything about this Sorry. game right now. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, like I was saying earlier, we definitely want to sort of do some retro coverage. Not in place of, of what we normally do. No. In addition to. We yeah. want to, we want, it's a, it's, a, it's a part of the industry that a lot of us love and I feel like we don't get to think about enough. Um, and granted, it's going to make our workloads a lot you know, <laughs> harder, but is it worth it for us? I think yes. so. It is for me, I know that. Well, whatever. I bought Shadowrun the other day when we went out, so I was yeah. pretty excited. Yeah, I bought this game. Ah, oh. I suck. I'm with so a, sorry. Ryan, was Shadowrun like uh, priced pretty high? Yeah. It was 45 bucks. 45, yeah. 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 It's it's a little high. That's, that's a highly sought after game. I, I, was, I was pretty surprised like that it was there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I looked online and it was like it goes for about 33 on yeah. eBay and stuff. So. so I mean, yeah. Like so, in that regard, you're supporting a store, right? Yeah. You're ensuring that that store is going to be there. And those guys just opened up a year and a half ago. So, you know, in that light, it's like you're kind of doing a service by paying that the extra dollar, yeah. you know? I mean, for me, I mean, the, the, I'm not a real big chip and handling kind of guy. Like, right. I'm way into instant gratification. If I can go somewhere and hand somebody, if it's Absol 12 oh, bucks God, more, it's absolutely. like, definitely. Oh, Just like that. waiting a few days and having it show up in the mail. It's like, oh, yeah. hey, this game is in my possession, but I didn't have to, I didn't drive anywhere. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't yeah. exchange dollars. It, it does take the intimacy out of it a little bit. A little bit. Um, I still remember one of the happiest days of my life was when I went and bought TNC surf designs for the NES. <laughs> oh man, Thriller Gorilla. Yeah, I remember it was like one of those things that it was like, oh, this is gonna be awesome, and uh, it, it was. It, it was. was the most awesome it was totally thing. Ever. Awesome. Man, for me, it was like Caveman Games, Yonoid, oh, Jackal. Oh yeah, Jackal. Jackal's awesome. Jackal. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that next time I see yeah, it. That's yeah. great. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. That was a. Yeah. That was a. Like I remember that night. It, it was. It, you know, I lived in LA at the time, and it was. It was a rainy day. And uh, oh, it was just so great to just run out into the rain or drive out with oh. my parents, grab that game. 
come back and just, as the rain was falling outside, just sit in the comfort of my home and <laughs> learn to beat like Piston Honda and Bald Bull yeah. and all those guys. So what was the difference between Mike Tyson's Punch-Out and Punch-Out? Because uh, they, they released a second version. They, in it, the only difference is that Mike Tyson... Isn't waiting for you? Yeah. Well, it's it's Mr. <laughs> Dream who yeah. fights exactly okay. like Mike Tyson. It's gotcha. just that they just change his appearance. Uh, Mike Tyson ran a little legal trouble and Nintendo's yeah. not real big on right. it. Yeah. 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 Little, oh, little okay. Don King running them into the ground. Yeah. The, I think I was watching a clip of that game the other day, and I think it literally does say Mike Tyson is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Do you guys? Did you guys have a coconuts? Was that a, a chain of stores around here? No. no. So I'm from the East Coast, and we had this chain of stores called Coconuts, which is kind of like, you know, movies, music, and games. And sure. I, so my brother is nine years older than me, and he got an NES for Christmas when I was probably one or two. And I remember when I was first. Conscious when I could actually like. Hey, when bro, I was a person. Remind so okay. remind me from section four where I want to go here. If you go up, if you go up, it'll take you to six. Okay, that's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah, and then okay. I would actually say go down. I okay. think that's where we may have screwed up last time. Okay. It's like, while well, you guys are, uh, while you guys are doing that business, I, I'm reading the chat on yeah. Twitch. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so they, they actually thought that for a second, maybe I don't know if this is still true, but they actually thought for a second that we had switched to the Nest Advantage. Because like our oh, shoot, no, no, they, no. they thought our shooting prowess became more so. So so no, oh, not no, necessarily. It's because I was playing and then you guys started playing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, okay, going to the red. Going down. Yeah, I think that's indicating. Oh, what? It what? totally just killed me. The, oh, what a that's cheap. That's what the red does. What a cheap. The death. red one. The red one just killed you. Yes, just entering in the red beam of light. Closed transmitter. That's what it. Oh. Wow. The, oh yeah. So. so. Uh, you gotta yes. watch out for that transmitter. Transmitters. Man. Do we have a lot of people interested in what we're playing, though? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, I think people are also interested to see what this Nest Advantage does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Should we switch it up? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's, yeah, plug, let's, it in. let's well. plug it in. So, Peter, this is your Turbo. own personal NES Advantage, yeah? Yeah, You're yeah. It in? I, I've it, had this NES Advantage probably since mm, oof, 1991. Okay. And it's you, maybe a bit of a fixer-upper? No. I repaired my NES last night. Okay. The NES Advantage has been in working condition. The one problem it has is the buttons tend to stick a little bit. Okay. Um, which isn't a big problem if you're using the turbo. Because okay. then you're not having to rapid fire. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, you can just hold it down. Is the turbo. Okay, I gotta turn the. Hold on. You I'll turn hit, the turbo you have on. You the switch. Yeah. Is that the yeah. button? Okay, so. Yeah. So the, this is the turbo function well, on. Well, the turbo just lays it down. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah. So. That's, and, and you can adjust those knobs so you can make the turbo a little faster, a little slower. This is max turbo right now. And there's also a slow mo mode. I don't know if you want to turn that on. Oh, but that, well, what that does, it only works in certain games. Let's oh, try it. Right now. Yeah, oh, it yeah, totally yeah, works yeah, in this game. Because yeah. what it Doing actually it. does Doing it. is it. Uh, <laughs> what that does is it it uh, just hits start really, really fast. Yeah. So I think it only works in games where it's like, not like a menu start that comes up exactly. or something. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did you turn it off? Ah, uh, the slow-mo, yeah, okay. So let's play it off. Woo, yeah. So I'll, I'll stick it to section Z. Yeah, man. Like, years of sticking it to us, okay. getting it back. Yeah, I'd, so my cousins I used to see once a year, and I think it was like 1990. I went over to their house, and they just got oh. the advantage. And I was like, what is this sorcery? Yes. <laughs> I, need, <laughs> I need to cheat as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, oh, that's advantage. Oh, oh damn it. God, those gaps are, are just the right size yeah. for you to fit through and, like, no bigger. Oh! Uh, I'm curious if people are thinking in the stream. Uh, so, obviously, we haven't made much progress, but <laughs> is that bothering you guys? I mean, do you enjoy watching us kind of crumble <laughs> All right, under the pressure of the, what, what's the alien's name again? The Bangalore? Bang Bang Bangalore? Bangalore. <laughs> Bangalore, whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, there's some people in the chat. Um, N9195V. Yeah. He says this reminds me of Life Force. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life Force, the sure. version, I believe, is that Salamander in Japan? Oh, I don't you know. might be right. I, I think, think it would be Salamander too. Yeah. Because because there's Gradius and there's Salamander. Um, Gradius obviously oh, stars Vic Viper. Vic Viper. And it's a you know side-scrolling shmup made by Konami. And Life Force, I think, is not Vic Viper. Is it? No. It's another dude, right? Uh, yeah, I believe it's. it's or it might not. be a girl. It might be well, a right, woman. but it's not Vic Viper. Right, it's not Vic Viper, but it's very similar in terms of gameplay. Yeah. 
Um, another Konami shooter I almost bought the other day, but I didn't because I couldn't remember what it played like was Gyrus. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ga now Gyrus is not Konami. It's Ga well, Ultra published it, I guess. And Ultra was Are a division of Konami. Gyrus, Gyrus for the Genesis? For Can NES. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different game because the. The, there was definitely a Genesis exclusive game. It was spe it was spelled G A I A R E S. This is G Y. That's Gyrus. Gyrus. Okay. That was a shooter, and that one was weird. No, this is yeah, G Y R U S S. Oh, Gyr Gyrus. Hey, there's a dude. Well, yeah. See, I said that Gyrus. the other day, and someone looked at me like I was no, crazy. It's so, it's, uh, yeah. I've always heard Gyrus. Do not go down. No. <laughs> Do not What's up, Kevin Manoward? What's up, player? Hey, just thought I'd stop what? by and say hello. Do you What's want up, to man? play Section Z? No. Oh. Okay, which remind me, so section so five. So you went up. I'm, I'm in you, section five. You're in section I'm five. At the end of section If you five. go up, that'll take you to seven. But that was where Ryan like barely got through. But is that where we want to go? You can go down. Okay. And then go up to the to the level where he ate it in the wall, where he decided uh, he was going to sacrifice himself. Uh, okay. So this potentially could be less difficult. We'll see. So this is eight. Yeah. This is eight. Good. Kevin, check out these maps. <laughs> Oh, oh is it really? Yeah. yeah, because yeah. you're just hitting you're just hitting pause yeah. like yeah. super. Is it annoying? Like no, the, the fast is fine. The slow mo, it, we thought it was broken. Oh. No, it's not broken. <laughs> it's just it's this, just how this, it sounds. This power the Ness Advantage. Yeah. No yeah. regular soundboard can contain it. I'm probably gonna open up that advantage pretty soon and put some some sort of lubricant on the buttons and the stick because it is just there you go. rigid and squeaky. Oh yeah. I love when Carol does that. Oh. Oh yeah, that's uh, just because you yeah. have to hear it. That's the start button. That's just, hit the, that's really just fast. pause, unpause, <laughs> pause on it over and over. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh, that's the power of the NES Advantage, no. Kevin. That is the slow mo super function. Super <laughs> for now people, you're playing with. With. What was? That? I wonder what the slogan for the Advantage was. Now you're playing with something. Okay. Oh God! Now you're just straight up cheating. Oh. oh. Sorry. The he power ran of slow through. motion is not enough. So the NES Advantage is kind of designed to, to, with the same aesthetic as the Nintendo. Yeah, it's a nice looking controller. And the same the same goes for the Super Advantage, which I, which I also own. Super Advantage? Yeah. For the SNES. Super Nintendo, yeah. What? So it's Nintendo licensed, but it's made by ASCIIWare. Okay. okay. Um, but it's it's in all regards, it's just as similar. Um, and good? Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Um, oh, I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, I do remember yeah. this thing. So it's got two purple notches, which on the Super Nintendo body were used for power and reset, right. they don't do anything. <laughs> they just, just pretty. Yeah, but they're made to look like the system, right. very oh, much like the NES gotcha. advantages. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's it's nice, you know? I, like last night I was sort of getting all this stuff out of boxes and laying it out on my big wooden desk and I was like, dude, I just love looking at all this stuff yeah. again, you know? And especially the sticks next to the system. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's nostalgia, but at yeah. the same time it's like, look at this design aesthetic. Like, yeah. it's dated, but it's still awesome. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I would be surprised if anyone except for like an eight-year-old didn't get it, you know. Um, our good friend uh, Viseract, he wants to uh, ask us what the energy business up there. It's just like hit points, right? Yeah, that's your out. health. Yeah. 18 out of 20. You'll yeah. see it go down a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, we also got Midnight Toker 910. Do you guys have the Game Genie? We don't. Oh, no. Used to. Those are not oh, cheap oh, these days. It's about 60 bucks. All right, <laughs> so you from, find se one used, from yeah. section 8, Peter. Okay, so section 8, you want to go up, and that will take you to the generator in section 11. All right. Which is one of the milestones. Wait, I'm in section 5. What? What? Wait, oh, what? Slow mo this. No, it's, no? it's done. Man. Okay, so I don't know how you got to 5. I don't think I should go up uh, again. Oh, so okay, if you go down, that should take you to 9. Okay. I mean, essentially, at this point, we're just trying to not die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's Oh, I'm back eight? in section 8. How? See, oh my god. See, that, that perfectly illustrates just how little sense the map Even this makes. refined map that's supposed to be like... Yeah. <laughs> I will say this, Caro has, is, is easily the most successful out of all of us right now. But is that because of the advantage? Um, I think it is. Well, <laughs> no, she, no, she's, she's pretty good, good at I mean, school she's games. Even, yeah, even, yeah, I'm impressed even when you slip the, the slow motion on or yeah. fitting through some of that stuff. See, I'm the most junior of the three of us. and like, So when I was playing Nintendo, I was still a pretty young kid. I was born the same year it was released. Yeah. So, you know, I started playing when I was like four or five, 85. 85? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, right? You guys were 10. You guys were, you yes, know, we you guys were like early yeah. tweens. Yeah. And so you probably had a little bit more comprehension going on. I I just, even though I wasn't good, I still loved it. Sure. And sadly, it's not like I'm recalling muscle memory from decades past. <laughs> I am now recalling my poor uh, muscle memory and trying to improve upon it. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't. Ah, oh, oh, see, one hit from that thing, and I go down even though I have 17 health yeah. left. Oh. 
Yeah, because running into the ship and running in, yeah, it's, dang, man, it's tough. It is. How long have we been playing this game now? 45 minutes? 30, 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Is anyone chastising us for uh, our, our failures here. and? No. Good. No, I don't wow. say anything. Awesome. Other than, uh, which proves uh, my theory. You don't have to be good at the game for people to enjoy watching you play. <laughs> Brett Murph, however, it realizes now the, the, the value of the game genie that he has somewhere and that he might have to sell it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 60 bucks is like, you know, whether there's a market for people at that price, I don't know. That's just, I actually looked it up yesterday. And that's what they're going for? <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sick. I look up this stuff way too often. <laughs> um, um, and that's kind of because, you know, at one point I owned this stuff and sold it, maybe bought it again and then sold it again. Yeah. And now I'm like, what an idiot I was. Like, ah. I probably sold all that stuff so I could buy a PS2. Right. It, <laughs> 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 Which would I rather have right now? Right. Uh, this. <laughs> the, 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 the weird thing, though, was, uh, like, actually, now that you mentioned, I think I really do have a Game Genie. You do? I think I do. I, and I remember like the most amazing thing that you could ever do with the Game Genie, not that there was all kinds of amazing stuff, but the one thing that was by far the most amazing was when you could use it for Street Fighter 2 and make it so you could play shoddily, of course, but you could play with the bosses. Oh, wow. nice. That was, yeah, that was, yeah. Like, I, remember, like, when, I remember thinking that was a like, total lie, like when people started talking about yeah. it, I was like, that is not, that's impossible. So, and then, yeah, it was like, sure enough, like, boom, there's the code, and there you are flying back and forth with M. Bison. I was watching Game Center CX, and like, so this, Street Fighter is a Japanese series. It's very popular over there, more so than it is here, probably. Yeah. And this guy has been playing, like, you know, dozens of episodes of the show, and he's supposed to be this, like, old-school gamer. He picked up Street Fighter 2 and could not throw a fireball. He was like, no, but special moves? What are special? Like, it wasn't like he couldn't execute it. He didn't know. Oh, right. I, I feel like, the, but the guy on that show, like, part of why they, why they put him through and, this stuff yeah. is that he doesn't really know anything about about games. You say that, but then, like, there are times that I watch where he's like, oh, yeah, I remember Carol. this. Like, he's flying through some right. games. Let, let's forget this map. <laughs> okay, so us. just use, the, use our instincts. Use, use the, the force. force. Yeah. All right, Section 8. We went uh, up last time? We did go up. And, right. and the, the map, in all fairness, does seem to skew down and to the right, right? <laughs> that depends on what map you're looking at. Because if you look at this one, that one's going up the oh, whole yeah, time. Right. Well, here we are back where Ryan uh, okay. Oh, okay. bought it. Yeah. Oh, no, slow, no, no. I was Sorry, you got 12. Slow this. I would, 12. You got slow good. You're good. No, you're good. You're good. Slow oh, mo, got, slow oh, mo. She got it. She's, she's doing well. Um, oh, man. Man, um, yeah, so go. when he was playing Street Fighter 2, right, it took him like 45 minutes of the hour long episode just to get to Vega. Uh huh. And he was like, What? Oh, hello. What? Who's what? Vega? What is this? This thing totally looks kind of like Mother Brain in Metroid. It, it does. does. He had no idea that there was even like an M. Bison or a Balrog. I don't know. Or a Vega. Oh, man, what am I supposed to do? Switch your weapons. That's what I would do. Yeah. Switch my weapon. How do I... Select. Oh, select. There you go. Come on. Oh, Carol. oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hey, what, what is that? You gotta touch that thing in the middle. Ah. Uh, you're, you're, you're still alive. You're down to nine, though. I don't know if I'm even hurting this thing. I think it's, I don't know. Yeah, you're get, you're penetrating that, that field. Oh, come on. You, oh, you're doing a good, you got the pattern down. Yeah, you got that. You, you got this all that. day long now. Oh, jeez. All day long. I really don't know if I'm hurting it. You've got to be. No. Yeah, yeah. Just want, keep going. I want to hear people tell us, no, you're not hurting it. Let's see what anybody, <laughs> anybody says. Uh, like normally hits, like, bosses, twice. like they would flash red or give you some indication yeah. that you're damaging them. You're pen the bullets, it's penetrating. The bullets hit it at least and stop. True. And then when, if, if, it, if the bullets, when they fly just through the field without hitting the ball, they just go through. Yeah. So Can they're at least making contact. What happened? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there you that go. That was a thing. Oh, the thing boom, happened. That boom. Happened. Wow. Don't get sloppy though. Own it. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Slow motion wow. Wow. explosion. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's 1991, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Nice. Okay. You've officially done it. All right, so what you just picked up, because at least the manual is accurate. <laughs> just for, <laughs> perhaps to a fault. Oh, yeah, we, we just, just got that thing. victory. <laughs> 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 oh man. What do you guys want to see? Do you want us to keep playing or do you want us to just switch? Well, let's play for 30 seconds. I want to see what there. happens at least after this. Where are we going? So, yeah, yeah. From, from the end of section 11. I've, where's the map? Peter? Oh, yeah. I'll let Ryan. I, is, I, I, right. I've led you guys astray too many times. Let me look at this yeah, but what, so, what was that thing I just grabbed? I that, even... It looked like a. What the hell was it? Uh, what was the one? Do you remember the section you came from to get here? Do you remember I think by it was, eight? I want to say it was eight. All right, eight. so that's true. Then, and then you went up, right? That makes total sense. Okay. Because okay. if you went up from eight and <laughs> we're here and yeah. there's, yes. Oh look! Oh my God! Even on the map it says use overhand manual slow mo. 
Huh? That's what it says. So, hey. so you apparently chose correctly. So if you go up, this is the mind blowing part. Yes. It'll take you to eleven. Okay. If you go down, Let's select and change your weapon. Real quick. Did you just pick the fire? If you sit here too yep. long, do you oh, just yeah. die? Oh hey. Your last one, the, the second one was. See the F just disappeared from up there. Yeah. Wait. Oh that, what? Oh whoa! So you whoa. only get to use them like what? once you switch out of them, they're gone. Oh, oh dirty. see that's. That's nasty. Dirty. Okay. The art of good, bad game design. Yes. So what you picked up that you no longer have, yeah. I, I think was the... Um, that, was it that spread weapon? The, uh, what the hell is it called? Flash Buster. Okay. Three-way laser beam. Yeah. I'm gonna, should, should we switch? Just pick a, should I just... Wait. Going? Oh no, keep going, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait though, wait. All right. <laughs> wait, I wanna make sure, this all right, so... Serious business. Did, did you find out, wait, which, so there's a generator, is that what it was? I just destroyed the generator, I think, in uh, section 11. All right, so if that's the case, I know where you are. If you go down, yeah. it'll take you to 10, apparently. Okay. If you go up, it'll take you to nine, apparently. Okay. So, mm. I don't know if there's a better one or the other. Like, if I was gonna say, I would, I don't know. <laughs> that's it, that's it, right? All right. <laughs> do it, just pick one. All right. Onwards and pick. upwards. I like going up. All right, do it. This is nine. At least I told you that right, right? But yes, like, indeed. But, so it's nine, but it's like you could have gone through nine already. I think I <laughs> think I may have. Exactly. The weird thing is like... Oh, but check this out. Your energy capacity went up. Oh, oh it did? Oh, that's probably what that's that what thing the was, was Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, damn it. There you go, there you go. Reclaim some of that health. Oh, okay, this is, I'm getting stupid now, I'm getting sloppy. Urgh. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, oh no. and I get crushed. Oh. Does, I hope it doesn't send you back. No, yeah. it did not All send right. me back. Should we switch up? All right. Head on over to, uh, to the cyberpunk Seattle World. future of Shadowrun. Let's do it. Uh, so we pr I printed out the manual for this for Ryan, because he bought this game, yeah. and it is no shorter than 40 pages. It is serious, here, let me hand it to you. Yeah, it and is. every page is filled with text and background. Yeah, yeah. And just lore. Yeah. The, the, the story, so, I forgot how awesome the story so was. So Shadowrun is, it's, it's inspired by like a tabletop uh, RPG. Fast and non, yeah. Yeah, fast yeah. and and And, and it's, it's, a, it's a future world that combines like just, just pure kind of cyberpunk like tech and the Matrix and stuff with also like orcs and things. Here, well here, this will give us a little background. It goes real quick though. Yeah. I've got some text here I can read from the manual, right. which gives you the full background. Do it. Psst. Hey, Chummer. Need a little extra cred? There's always room for another runner in the sprawl. Okay, first of all, I have to say, <laughs> this shot right here totally ripped straight from Blade Runner. Like, this is yeah. just like... There's a lot of this taken yeah. directly from Blade Runner. Totally. Yeah. Which, I mean, as a huge fan of Blade Runner, oh, yeah. I just love. It just gets yeah. me super excited. Yeah. I mean, the first time you see that dude, and he's got a little coat on, the and he looks kind of yeah, like yeah, yeah, Decker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can recapture that magic. <laughs> Of my performance. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, <laughs> Peter. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yeah, you had a deflated feeling when I'm you were like, sorry. "I'm doing it, I'm know, doing it." Oh, I know. I apologize. That was that was bad timing on my part. But you don't even mean to. I just see Blade Runner and I get excited. Go start over. Yeah. Psst. Hey, Chummer, need a little extra cred? There's always room for another runner in the sprawl, but only experts need to apply. It's a nasty world out there, and Shadowrunner wannabes are just waiting to get geeked. Still interested? All right, stick around. Things are about to heat up, and there's plenty of Nuyen waiting there where the action is. What's a Nuyen? Is that credit? It's currency. It's currency? In, okay. Yeah, in this world. All right, welcome to the streets of Seattle, more than 50 years in the future. A lot has changed in the last half century, even though it's more than 50 years in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it for the worse. Arcology is the size of small city house that wait. Arcology is the size of small cities house the giant megacore and their life employees who, for the most part, live a pretty safe and routine life. The real action takes place on the streets below, in the shadows. Dun, for the right for the right amount of Nuyen, you can buy adventurers for hire, called shadow runners, to do pretty much anything. The shadow runners range from cutting edge cyborgs to spell casting mages, some of whom aren't even human. In fact, metahumans have played a huge part in the world since the awakening, quote unquote years ago, when magical beings such as elves, trolls, dwarves, and orcs began to resurface after lying dormant for centuries. All this results in a constant struggle between magic and technology, a balance that would desperately fight, no, oh, I can't read, a balance that the world desperately fights to maintain. In Shadowrun, you take the role of Jake Armitage, a runner with amnesia who must put the pieces of his own mystery together to stay alive. You'll fight along the way, but never put your trust in anyone. You can never tell who's already been bought and paid for. Okay, so 
Armitage, that name, like the other thing that this game borrows kind of heavily from is like... The anime called Armitage? Well, <laughs> I think it's a, there's a, a reference to a character in William Gibson's oh. novel Neuromancer. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a character. Yeah. And uh, if, you, if you haven't read that book, like which is like the seminal kind of cyberpunk novel, yeah. it's still, it's so good. So beautiful. So I, I also got to recommend it. All I highly recommend it. Also got to recommend Neil Stevenson's uh, oh, like Snow Crash. Snow Crash is fantastic. Yeah, that that book is that book is just a guilty pleasure because it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so here's, Shadow Run. So here's Armitage waking up on, on a slab in the in the morgue. So I, here's a question. I have the Mario Paint Mouse. Yeah. I seem to have all these old accessories, but can you use that for this game? I mean, no, I don't think so, because nope. you need... Because uh, there's a cursor, right? Yeah, but only at certain... Yeah. I don't think it's compatible with that. What I'd like to do is build some sort of um, Arduino project that converts the uh, the mouse thing That'd to direction, good. just for this game. Yeah. <laughs> Grab that slap patch. All right. Now, the one thing that I, I was reading up on and trying to remember again, like, I don't remember this, but maybe I just didn't know. Yeah. They, like I was reading in some stuff. Some people were saying that you use a slap patch to heal yourself yeah. instead of what you're supposed to use it for later on. How about I? That's like a deal breaker. Mm. Like, that, like, like you might as well just not keep oh. playing the game. Oh, oh, weird. I not. I did not. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, oh God, you just scared those dudes. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's a zombie. <laughs> So you could call it what? Slap patch? Yeah. Slap patch. But uh, huh. I mean, it says it's a healing item. Yeah. So, but maybe you need it for something later. I think you're Because this game does have a, like, it's mainly a role playing game, but it does have that kind of adventure. It has a little bit of that kind of point and click adventure game Straight thing going up, yeah. on. No, yeah. I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why I loved it so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, this game is so deep. It's crazy. It's awesome. It, it, and it definitely doesn't hold your hand. Like at first, this or at least early going, it's like, whoa, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed yeah. to do? And uh, it can be, it can be a little tough. How do you guys feel about immersion um, with these data graphics and sort of the believability? See, like for me, okay, when when games look like this. Uh, I, I have no problem getting immersed because my imagination is totally willing to do the work to fill in the rest of the world. And so I think it's it's having, giving you that ability to use your yeah, imagination exactly. and not spelling it all out for exactly. you. Exactly. And I think when games like so, then there's a certain point where games like approach realism but don't quite don't quite reach realism. But there's no room for you to exactly. Extrapolate. And then the flaws kind of jump out at me and kind of keep me from getting immersed. You know, yeah. and 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 <laughs> I do sometimes miss. I think there's something to be said for games that, yeah, that kind of almost require you to use your imagination to to flesh out yeah. the world. And, and, you know, there's something, too, like a lot of people are making retro games now, and it does recapture some yeah. of that nostalgia, but at the same time, we're too self-aware at this point. And it's like, yeah. oh, I can make this look a little bit better. Like, yeah, it's still blocky and pixely, but check it out. Like, I'm going to take it to this next level for this one little piece. You want me to take that off your hands there, Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, there? Oh, there. Yeah, so walk okay. through, yeah. Oh, walkthrough, sweet. Okay, but there's like an innocence to the the low quality about this. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. They weren't doing it on purpose. Obviously, it was like this is the best they could do, which you have to applaud them for back then as much as you should people today. But there's something just about the it had to look this way, um, right? And you couldn't get any more. Like, I don't know what that dude's face look looks like, but I have a really good idea in my head. <laughs> oh, a busy man. All right. What do you want, punk? <laughs> yeah, give me. <laughs> can't get both. Yeah. I gave at the office. <laughs> uh, I'm busy, man. So, what's, so my what's my next move, Carol? All right, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. You. Okay, you're in a lot of danger without a weapon, uh, given that there are hitmen after you. Okay, did you. So, what you should have done, and I don't know, maybe you can kind of retrace your steps, but. Follow the thug, that first oh, thug yeah. who runs up and talks to you. He runs southwest. Yeah. Um, okay, and then as you 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 should see like a dark alley if you run if you go southwest uh, enough, maybe down there I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we should be able to get ourselves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. Uh, is that an orc? That is that is an orc. Um, okay, this is not good. Yeah, that's um, bad business. 
<laughs> yeah, because we what we want is like. Uh, there's, you don't have any like arms. The, like if you follow the thug, he should get gunned down, and then I think you can take his uh, gun. his gun. Yeah, yeah but no. I don't know now. If it, what exactly? Maybe maybe. But I heard him like cry out, so I think he did get gunned down. Okay, what, if, what about this? This alley? That alley? Yeah. Or is that the entrance to the club? Yeah, this is the Grim Reaper Club. Um, I like the the system in this game, the dialogue system, where there's like uh, bold words, and, and then of course that means that that's something you can you can ask them about, as you see here, street dock. So I'm looking at the Twitch chat right now, Ryan. Is there a way to see how many people are watching this thing? I'm kind of curious. Be so we got a couple, almost 800 people watching this play here. Oh, this is BS, though. Look. Like, you can't order alcoholic drinks in the game. It's all, like, iced tea and, and stuff. Uh, like, in the... I think they had to do that. They had to kind of clean it up. Um, but, of course, like, proper Shadow Run, like, they should have been drinking some, some serious beverages. Yeah. It's the future. Exactly. It's a terrible future. How else are you going to, like, nurse your mental wounds if you don't have any alcohol? <laughs> Someone wants to see Popful Mail on Sega CD. If you can send us that game, we would yeah. love to play it, but I don't know if I have 100 bucks to shell out. Is it really 100 bucks? Yeah, the Sega CD games are so expensive, and mostly because, like, those discs are so fragile. The, the layers of plastic on, and the data are just, Ooh. man, one little scratch and you are screwed. And that is one of those rare games that was, like, back then, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was hard to find, man, and people, not a lot of people bought it, and so now it's, like, even harder to find. I'm gonna go juke the, the orc. Try, yeah, maybe run past the orc. Yeah. I, think, I think you should be able to find the thug's corpse, like, past the orc, and if you can survive long enough. That dude just randomly shooting me out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> You're in his hood, <laughs> get off his turf. <laughs> I'm crazy, this is my turf. <laughs> oh, there's yeah, there the, there he is, right there. Grab that, grab yeah. that gun. You're not using that gun. Yeah, he don't need it anymore. Beretta, pick, the, pick it up. <laughs> you look okay. at this while I'm getting shot real quick. Now you gotta equip it. No, oh, let's equip it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you get glasses at uh, some point? You do. Okay, now you got your Beretta pistol equipped. Yeah. Come on, Orc. Pete Pete 1984 says, that Shadow Run. He's right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we are playing some Shadow Run here on this nest. I might say he has a great name. I'm very fond of that name. Huh. Okay. Not because my name is Pete or anything. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's asking how we're live streaming. We've got lots of sophisticated equipment, blah, ah, blah, blah. I love you kill the orc, and his it corpse <laughs> is exactly like the other guy's corpse. That's uh, great. Uh, good in order to continue answering your question, live streaming. Um, if you don't have a lot of the stuff that we have, one way to do it is to get a relatively affordable capture solution for your computer, and then use a program called XSplit. Mm -hmm. Use that to then capture a region of your screen, and that'll broadcast it over Twitch TV with the right uh, account login info. Um, it's not that complicated. Everything I've said probably confused you, but um, there's a lot of stuff online telling you how to do that if you go to Google. Talking dog. Dog controls your destiny. Ask about dog. So I've heard the rumor if you, if us playing this game, if you stare into that dog's eyes long enough, uh -huh. you actually then become Armitage. And you are literally in the game. Okay. But it was one of those things like, look, you stare in that dog's eyes, you're gonna you're gonna lose your real life. Yeah. But, you know, you'll get to live in this amazing world. Brian, I think you can equip <laughs> the uh, the leather jacket that you picked up off that guy, and I think that'll increase your armor. Someone's saying XSplit is no longer free. Is that true? It's I, not free. I mean, it's, I didn't have to pay, pay for it to broadcast. Uh, it's free, I think, if you want. Well, maybe there's like a there's like a dip, there's different versions, and it's the maybe if there is a free version, it, it would have limited functionality. Yeah, because I, okay. I I know I downloaded one. And it is limited, but for capturing the way I just described, it was totally, totally doable. Okay, so now that we're packing heat, it's time to explore 10th Street. Um, so... Uh, okay, so you can't use HD in the non... in the, uh, in the free version. So yeah, now that we have a gun, let's just, let's just kind of explore some in here. Oh, mm. dude, he's trying to waste Man. you. Get out of my office! Yeah, no time for punks like you. It's a mage. The mage wearing a cowboy well, hat. A well-dressed mage. Yeah, that's a dapper mage. Yeah. 
Right now he's just a normal man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get some. Give me them ducats. Get some nuance. Never hear that word. I'm re reminded of EPMD. <laughs> okay. Do you remember EPMD? I do not. No? I do. You got to chill. <laughs> Millennium ducats. <laughs> Yeah. Totally off topic, but Kara, you might enjoy EPMD if you're into early 90s hip hop. Oh, yeah, I've heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I that, that line is uh, it's from uh, San Andreas. Mm. One of the one thing CJ says sometimes when you pick up money is, give me them ducats. Yeah. And I, I always <laughs> love that line. Ooh, elevator. I, I, yeah. Not going there. Now let's, uh, let's hit the streets again. Anything involving a door in the future, or just in video games, period, yeah. is generally very difficult. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. locked, or it's broken. Oh, wait, is there... Um, oh, it's right there. Oh, I see where the shots are coming from. Okay, we've gone out. Yeah. All right, no dapper dudes in here. Nope. So you can't search desks? Dudes. You can't, right? like... I don't think so. I mean, that would get pretty tedious, like clicking on all these desks. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you play Fallout 3? Yeah. Oh, hey, video phone. Oh, who are we going to chat with? Ah, everything's broken on. in I the know. future. That's Nothing works. Someone wants to see, like, X Wing vs. TIE Fighter, Day of the Tentacles, oh, some old yeah. PC stuff. Dan, we are, Dan brought it in. We are down for, Heck yeah. for retro anything. That, that is sitting in Dan's office. Oh, I think that was actually Dan oh. <laughs> <laughs> who was talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, we want to see all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay, this guy's like a fence, yeah? If you have something you want to offload. I want to poke that thing in his forehead with yeah. my finger. Uh, I'm not keeping it. You don't seem to know what I mean. <laughs> 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 Ask about dog. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. No more yep. <laughs> Tell me about dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> We're exploring the 10th Street. We yeah. are. We're exploring Seattle. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I am all over that. Oh man, yeah. that's so damn hard. In Seattle, can you get on Broadway? Can you possibly be on Broadway in Seattle? <laughs> I was talking about the uh, Japanese Genesis version of Ghouls and Ghosts earlier. Yeah. Otherwise known as Dai Makai Mura. Uh, that game has the best cover art ever. Hands down. That dude's looking pretty ominous. He is. I think he's a bouncer of some sort. Heavy, he is a heavy bouncer, in fact. Seven Six foot, foot high, high, four foot wide. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of a country song. <laughs> oh yeah, you need a ticket. Of course, I need a ticket. Ask about dog. Maybe dog's got a ticket. I would oh, ask yeah. about ticket. Yeah, about ticket. Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't like dog. Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice talking to you, buddy. Yeah. Try their video phone. So if he's seven foot tall, what does that make you like? Two and a half feet? <laughs> oh. These are all things that I don't have. If you want. I'm pretty sure your office is somewhere here. Maybe you can get your cred stick back there. Let's see. I'm trying to skim this this walk through here. See. There's a graveyard, right? Ooh, I don't know if you want to go in there. I think you might get wasted. Oh, you can't get wasted at a bar. You might as well do it at the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, dude, get out of there. <laughs> Zombies have no sense of like etiquette. Yeah, I'm almost dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah can you? Is there a save anywhere option, or do you have to be like somewhere to do I think it? You probably have to be somewhere. Yeah, uh, I think you have to be like at your, at, at your like at your bed or something at your in your office to save it. At your bed. Okay, let's see. Um, so. Got yeah, people asking for Road Rash. I would totally stream some Road Rash too. Road Rash. Oh yeah, Road Rash too would be awesome. I'll do a I'll do a stream where I just try to save up as much money as possible to buy that that elite green bike at the end. <laughs> That's way too fast. <laughs> you know what? I think we should play at some point too. Just to so, throw my own. Yeah. I like to see. I like to play some co-op uh, battle toads. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no problem. The ultimate in frustration. Yes. Oh, God. Some of the animations in that game are awesome. 
So yeah, I think we definitely need to try to find uh, Armitage's like office and stuff. I think we want to go explore. Yeah, because that dude said he, he he gave you some stuff back at the office. Yeah, yeah. Even All though right. he was at a bench. Where do I go? Oh, I think you. Uh, yeah. That guy, I think if you can buy him an iced tea and give him an iced tea, that that guy in the green will talk to you. If okay. I remember, if I remember correctly. He was looking um, kind of thirsty. But I don't know if you can, if you have the cred stick necessary to buy an iced tea yet. A bartender is doing that thing like in Pleasantville, where. Uh... See, this guy knows who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Ask about shadow runners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. You can hire. You can hire. Yeah, the orc or somebody in this yeah. club to uh, to run with you. Yeah. You don't have a side with you. Jacking into the matrix. With your own name tag. My tire your job for you. Talk about hiring, maybe. See what he said. Tickets. What did you say about Jack? Haha. Hiring? Did you, what, if you, what if you ask about hiring? Eh, all right. Wait, wait, did you ask him about healing? Did you already do that? Because you need some health. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't heard about healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll let you know if I hear anything on the street about Duh, healing. what? <laughs> Pan fist. <laughs> yeah, so he, yeah, so yeah, you can totally hire this guy, but you need, you need, Creds first. Hundred. He's done a hundred runs, and he hasn't lost one neuron yet. It's my kind of, it's my kind of guy. Five hundred million. Can I say yes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you need to, you need to find your office and get, get your hands on your, your stuff. Let's see where we can go. It's definitely back. It's definitely back in one of these, those like buildings back in the kind of yeah. first area. One of these? Yeah, I mean, we just want to explore all these doors and things. So I think it'd be nice to remind people again that, like, you know, we're trying to make an effort around here to do some more retro coverage. We're going out, uh, buying we, a lot of games. We've talked to this guy before, I think. Um, all the stuff that we're going to be streaming for as long as we're doing this retro stuff is things that we've purchased. Um, we're aware of emulators. We've used them to some extent in the past, but this is like us going out, finding these games, coming to show you guys what oh, we bought. Oh, you need to use your slap patch, man. Slap that patch on you. <laughs> Hurry up. It's too late. Oh. Dead. Jake is dead for the second time in one night. Yep. Because he was dead when the game started. All right. Game Can, over. Uh, game let me uh, take, yeah. a, take a pass at this. There's a there's a save on here if you want to try to start a save that's got at least the gun so you don't, you don't start from but, uh, zero. But isn't that fun? Like getting a used game or like renting a game? And finding a little save. Finding those it saves might be on like that? way yeah. far into the game. It's not. I looked. It's like barely past. It's like right where we were. I booted up a Neo Geo Pocket yesterday, and the SNK vs. Capcom Card Fighters game, yeah. my save was still on there. 72 hours in that game on a handheld with no backlight. I don't know how I pulled that off. So, so you got the Beretta, you got 190. Okay. New Yen. Something. I don't know uh, like where I'm at in the story here, or what, what I'm supposed to be doing. So, so is that your office, that, technically? That is. Ugh, I'm just shooting things for no reason. <laughs> I'm just trying to get used to the controls here. Yeah, that that is your no spell selected. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is this is your your office. Did you guys, is, that's how you save. You use that bed there, I think. Did you guys play the first-person multi-platform crossover? Shadow? I did not. It had not too far away from the bed. <laughs> so the Genesis version is sort of top down. The doesn't, Genesis doesn't version is a completely different. It's a completely different game. But a lot of people said that one was real good too. Well, I yeah, prefer I mean, this one. and people like it's pretty evenly divided. Like some people prefer one or the other. I'm just glad that they're two different Shadowrun experiences. Yeah. Uh, I'm just glad we were able to buy this game and it works. Oh, and we're playing it now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought yeah. there was a way to run faster, but maybe not. All right. Hey, nope. Waste him. Yeah, Run! I love that sound. <laughs> the sound of, ah! of murder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the sound of death in the morning. I'm gonna find some interesting tidbits from this manual here. Do it. Wow. 
What do you guys want to know about? Give me a question, because there's so much shit. There, I said it. Tell me, uh... <laughs> Tell me, tell me more about the world we are, are, are in. Does it give you any more? Oh yeah, dude, this thing is filled with expository ramblings. Because like, what is it? The telecommunications. If I remember right, the telecommunications of the future fail, and so then they, they, they invent something called the Matrix to take its place. This is the the actual intro that they give you here. It says Wednesday, 8:45 a.m. Officially, you don't exist. No. You awake, head throbbing in a body drawer at the city morgue. Body drawer. So We've all had those days. Essentially, you've got to pull it together and unravel a deadly puzzle of mystery, murder, and mayhem. Uh, you got to shatter the, me the mexaplexes? Megaplexes? No, mexaplexes. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, maybe that was a <laughs> typo on their part. <laughs> um, but only high caliber firepower can help you avoid a return trip to the morgue. So, you, oh, that dapper dude. There's two of them. There's another yeah, one in the I corner. Yeah, I know, I know. Ah. Shoot him in the gun. I can't even. It's yeah. not fair that he can shoot me. Yeah. There we go. Whew. Yeah, karma. Oh, got some karma. cash. Got some credits yeah. over there. Okay, put the I keep Girl, forgetting how to trigger put happy the button. Put the gun away. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. There's some cool art in here, too. That's got nothing to do with the game, as far as I can tell. Oh. All right, so the different uh, weapons we got in this game is the zip gun. Um, you've got the Beretta yes. right now. Yes. Uh, specifically, the 101T. Uh, after that, you got the Colt American L30X, followed by pistol, which <laughs> seems a little degeneric, but the heavier stuff, you got, like, the AS Assault Cannon, the HK-227 Assault Rifle, the Ruger Warhawk Pistol. Nice. My favorite, the Defiance T-250 Shotgun. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. Ares Viper Heavy Pistol. These all sound great. Totally unplausible and amazing. Shooting innocent people. You should contain your attacks to combat situations. If you shoot characters that are not posing a threat to you, your spirit guide will warn you. Oh, the oh, dog will warn you. Dog. Continue shooting innocent people. An additional message will appear, and one point of karma, if you have any, will be deducted. Right. Where are you? Oh, over here. Yeah, I can really go over some Red Baron pizza right now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Should we, should we give some Red Baron pizza away? Give it to me, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, how are we gonna give some Red... How can we do that? Uh-oh, okay, we're gonna ask them a trivia question, and if they get the answer right, they can send their response to on the spot at GameSpot.com. All right, so what kind of trivia question are we gonna come up with? Um, I'll let you... I came up with the one for our last stream, so right. you guys figure it out. See, uh, I've got a good trivia question. How many sections are there in Section Z? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> If you know the answer to that question, send it. Do we know the answer to that question? It says on your map, yeah. It does? Map, it yeah. does? There's, there's... It says right here, let's see here. I'll say it out loud, but it looks like... Yeah, there's a, there's a logical number. Okay, yeah, you're right. There's a logical number of sections to section Z. So if you know the answer to that question and you want to win yourself some free pizza, you can send your answer to on the spot, an email address on the spot at gamespot.com. If you put your mailing address in there, we will send you these rad coupons that are instant activation for free pizza. What's better than free pizza? No. And so yeah, again, the question is, how many sections are there in section Z? And I would note that the arcade version will probably not give you the right answer. So you're looking for the Yeah, we're talking about the NES version of Section Z. Similar yet. The Capcom classic very with high resolution graphics. I'm Tra at, trademark. <laughs> I'm looking at the, the chat and I see a bunch of people throwing up numbers. There is one person that is, I would say, the, 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 the judges would give it to. <laughs> oh, should we not? Should we vote that? Oh, but we we're going to give it to multiple people, right? No, no you're right, but we're doing people, it via yeah. email, right? Yeah, yeah. You've got to email it to. Uh, on the spot at GameSpot.com. Yeah. So someone, go back someone's got a career. Like I should be able to yeah. get yeah. something out of this out of this club here. One dude, everybody else is wrong. Well, let's talk about pizza. Is making my stomach rumble. I'm telling you. 
had a rough day. I need some rest. Look, okay. So do you do you regain health when you rest? You're not really rested, did you? Uh, I, I did don't you just rest for like a no, second? No, 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 okay. no. I have not had any rest. Okay. <laughs> Can't stop. Won't stop. So do you guys remember, like, once you get past this initial 10th Street area? Yeah. Do you guys remember how much it opens up? I don't. It's I don't. So I just long. remember that there is a lot of this like hacking combat, like this hacking, this combat that takes place in the Matrix. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You remember and uh, uh, which I. Do you need that glove before you do any of that? Isn't there like some gray glove you pick up, like your cyber I, glove or something? Maybe. Lacage. Did by any chance did this person who save game I'm using get the tickets? Nope. Duh. <laughs> no entry without a ticket. Okay. Yeah. Right. We should, uh... So, do you want me to look through a walkthrough? Yeah, maybe let's try to figure out what the next step is, because... So the next step... I think the walkthrough I was looking at was maybe... I don't know. You know I, it was hard to find out amidst all the text and information in the heat of the moment exactly what my next step should be. All right, so your, your next step is... Oh no. no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you have do you have sunglasses in your inventory? Uh, I don't believe. So. Oh wait, I have iced tea. Oh, you do have oh, iced tea. Oh, nice. You know what to do with that. I think I do. Um, let's see. Wait, no. Come on. Uh, shades. Why, yeah. why is he not wearing the shades? Fool. Let's examine dark sunglasses. Well, I thought those would actually change your avatar, don't they? Oh, uh, well, they change oh, you your portrait. Yeah, that, that's the oh, cool. yeah. there you go. Check, check out. I like the, those the styling That's what shades. I remember. They are the. Uh... This is what yeah, people can't so tell gonna, when you're lying. I'm going to go back to that uh, to the club here, see if I can't give this iced tea to this gentleman who just wants to relax. Yeah, you go to the tire court in the left corner of that, that bar and you give him the iced tea. Yep. You talk about the tickets and learn about Grinder, Maria, and Lone Star. There, see him drink. Oh, no, 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 put the gun away. I hate it when I'm in a club and I just accidentally draw my gun. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Chummer, my favorite. Yeah, who doesn't love a refreshing iced tea? Uh -huh. The tickets. He had the tickets in his hand. Sub, and sub. Talk, ask about them. Tickets. Give me them tickets. Jesus tickets man. to Maria Mercurial concert. I even gave Grinder the money. Oh, Grinder, you say? Poor Grinder. He got wasted. Oh, Lone Star. The morgue guys carried off what was left of him. Okay, maybe back to the morgue. Yeah, you gotta dig through those those body drawers. All right. Let's head back to the morgue. Favorite activity of mine. Yeah, I love hanging out at the morgue. I can remember how to get back to the board. Oh, what? I? Oh, no, I'm going to die. Come on. No, no, no. Do I have a slap patch I can use? You're supposed to go to the businessman in the corner office building and ask about Shadowrunners, learn about hiring. Oh, we did that. We've though. done that, yeah. That's where I heard that oh, I'm worried I'm going to die now. Dang it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <sighs> Shoot. Maybe resting does replenish your energy. I feel like I should, though I honestly don't even remember which building my office is in. Not this one. Yeah, it says uh, if your health's low, go take a nap. I think this is it, though. That's the... It's the first place you come out of, yeah? Yeah, but I, I need to I need to take Keep a nap. Best off. I don't... Is this where my office is? I feel like this might be where my office is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not my office. Get out of here before that dapper gentleman kills you. 
Yeah, I bet. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, hey. Got any discussions going on in the chat right now? Let's see. Oh, is he? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I can't, I don't think I can use this karma yet. Nope. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save this game because I made a little bit of progress and I might want to actually continue playing this. Alright, now back to the morgue. Can you do it? Oop. The diagonal movement. Well, I guess just down, yeah. You just gotta get used to pushing down makes him move in this direction, pushing left makes him move in this direction. Somebody was asking if this was Diablo 4. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is, here we are. So if you take off the shades, he'll know you're dead and he'll run away, which yeah. will let you go in there. Oh, is that what I want to do? E about, yeah, because they're the doctors, right? Oh. Otherwise, they'll be like, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm here to ask about Grinder. No sign. Ow. All right. I will scare the hell out of you. <laughs> what do you have? One more file out of the way or one more life out of the way? <laughs> All right. Huh? <laughs> Cast, remove yeah, it says, talk about talk about grinder and get listen to some mumbo jumbo. Open the filing cabinets and grab the tickets and cred stick. I bet oh. I bet I need these guys. Uh, well, you said talk to them about grinder. Do they give you? A... I talked. I asked them. Yeah, about you grinder did. Already. Okay. okay. Um, Take your glasses off. I don't away. know how. Where's the? Uh, uh, no, 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 put the gun away. What do you get when you go into, what is the cyber deck? I know that's not your glasses, I'm just curious about that. Oh, here the we go. The cyber deck you're apparently supposed to jack into. Okay. Yeah, the cyber deck is what you use to uh, get in the matrix. hack into the matrix. <laughs> um, so I would go to, what, armor? armor? No, items. And the glasses aren't down there? No. I don't know how to remove the glasses. Um, what if I just... Okay. I mean, I don't Screw know Screw those guys. Yeah. But I don't know what... Mm. And I'll, I'll read it word for word. Okay. It says... Go back to the morgue and talk to the guys who hid behind the door. Talk about Grinder and get and listen to some mumbo jumbo. Open the filing cabinets and grab the tickets and cred stick. So you talked to one guy. About I talked. To, I, I talked to both. Uh, really? But I think. But I'll try it again. No sightseers allowed. If you ain't can, I'm afraid he stays with us. So what's the difference between ask about and talk? Or, or your talk, talk is just talk. You don't choose a okay. a thing. Nice shades. You always wear them indoors. Okay. That guy's a jerk. Well, I would like to take off my shades. There's got to be a way, right? To take <laughs> off the shades? Oh. Twitch people, help us out. How do we take off the shades? I'll, I'll look at the manual. Do it. Maybe maybe Manuel will tell us what to do. Items. It says you can't remove the glasses. Ah, okay. Yes. So, but there's got to be, obviously, there's a way to... There's, uh, do you have a badge, by any chance? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said something about, like, a no badge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe I do have a badge. Flash that badge. I do not have... Pretend the paper is badge. <laughs> badge. No badge? No badge. I think then, 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 I, think I need to go find a badge somewhere. Yeah, yeah it basically says, uh, so 
I want, okay. Go to the businessman in the corner office building and ask about shadow runners. Learn about hiring. Ask yeah. about hiring and learn about negotiation. Yeah. Talk about Lone Star, but, and use the badge. You can also ask about fire or more. Okay. I, I think I remember that businessman. And the, the dog over there, doesn't he like become significant at some point? I remember he like all of a sudden. Well, uh, dog no. in general is your spirit guy. Spirit no, guy. The one that you saw run around in right, the park. Right in the park. Uh. Remember he does some business at some point. Is there a type of enemy that's particularly scared of dogs? No, 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 that's a good question. Shoot, which building is the businessman in? I don't remember. I'll probably tell you, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. <laughs> hey, businessman. Later midnight. Okay, ask about... There you go, negotiate. Plenty of money, at least 500 New Year. If you're a fast talker, you might negotiate, okay? Tell me about negotiate. negotiate. Good negotiator, okay. Uh, Lone you don't Star. Say. So you want to play rent a cop? Oh, I might go. be able to accommodate you for 150 million. I've got a Lone Star ID badge. Yes. You want that. I, yeah, I want it. Don't get caught. All right. All right. Good advice. That's cool. I'm gonna go back to the morgue yeah. and do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, these peoples just keep filling up with thugs. Yes. <laughs> Dozen Cug was uh, saying that he, he I, I think he might be remembered right too, because now that he mentioned it, maybe like the dog collar that you need at some point. Mm -hmm. There's like a little gate you open, but uh, let's see what happens with this badge business. Oh crap, <laughs> or I'll just shoot you. I <laughs> hope to be another approach. Own star badge. I'll tack it onto my pocket. All right. Yes, I am an authority. You Lone Star boy sure did him over good. His file belongs in the cabinet. You're darn right I want you to pull his file for me. There you go. Give me that Make tickets. progress. Ooh, the tested cabinet. Wanna look for it yourself? Oh, man, that's... Real, it's a good thing you walked over there. Yeah. Okay, now examine, I guess. Grinders file, and so are the. Yeah, man, I'm going to see Maria Maria Mercurial in concert. Did you take it though? Oh, do I need? Is this it? Do I, tickets. Oh yeah. Yeah, I probably should pick up the tickets. Okay. Oh, can we now? See let's see what happens when we show that orc bouncer a thing or two about having tickets. Do you have a scalpel by any chance? Ooh, I don't think so. I do not. Let me see if I can find. I'm looking at this reprinted Captain Command or uh, Section Z manual. Yep. And I'm reminded of the time Blockbuster was sued by Nintendo for photocopying manuals. Yeah. For copyright infringement. Yeah. But I mean, renting games so. from Blockbuster sucked because you never got the manual. Because yeah. whoever, whoever like the first person who rented it, like, Mine, always lost it or, or kept, kept it. it or just kept it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, generally probably lost. Ah, uh, I, I think you're right. Probably kept actually. I oh. Oh, man, like some of this stuff is like kind of like these games is becoming hard to find even on the internet, and the quality isn't bad, but like it could be better. Sure. I wonder if. Go back to the morgue. I kind of feel like I want to start vectorizing a lot of this stuff. You know, like I was talking about, like that cover <sighs> for that Genesis game. Like, yeah, I don't know. Just like cartridges are fitting, fitting out. So are these old bitmaps. Like, they're just not going to be viable for much longer. 
until apparently in the morgue there's a scalpel. Okay. You get the scalpel. Yes. Then we go to the cemetery. Oh. And then you can use the scalpel in the cemetery. Okay. And then you use the slap pads if you still got it. Okay. Apparently you bring some dude back to life or something. Okay, mm. all right. We're going to full circle. Full circle. All right, where is your scalpel? It's, uh, it's on, on the, the tray. tray. The it's in the middle the one, screen. yeah. Oh, I see it. Nice. I'd love to watch a speed run in this game. Right? Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so graveyard's a dangerous place, so I think I'm going to go save again before I head over there. Yeah, yeah. Wise decision. <laughs> you laughing at me. <laughs> Your amazing rendition of the Shadowrun. If you, you pass by this dog thing again, yeah, apparently all you gotta do is open the gate. And if you open the gate, the dog will run off and he'll leave the, uh, there you go. Ah. Leave the collar. You're free, doggy. Ar -woo. Ar -woo. You're super happy about that. There you go. Thanks, doggy. It's my parting gift to you. Yeah. Enjoy free life. from my Enjoy shackles. Enjoy life on the, the dog-eat-dog streets of Seattle. <laughs> Can you use the R trigger to open the door? It looks like you don't have, have to actually go through the menu. Oh, for real? Yeah, I think oh, it, it, nice. it showed you some stuff in parentheses. And like L is examine. Oh. So if you use karma, what does that do? That's like, oh, I might, that's a good point. I think I might have enough karma now to actually level up one of my skills. Oh, nice. Let's go back to sleep. Just you not off again for a yeah. while. Okay, so I got two karma, so. Like, I can up my firearm skill, which, yeah, yep. uh, it's done. I'm now better with guns than I was before I went to bed. Way to be. So now if you go to the cemetery, use the scalpel on the farthest right crypt door. On the door? Yeah. Want to pick the lock? Yeah, apparently. We'll find an Indian shaman. Oh, oh hell sure, yeah. of course. My favorite kind of shaman. Yeah. <laughs> this is a weird term they use in this game, isn't it? Mary Indian or something like that? It's like really? a combination of American and Indian, yeah. Weird. Amerindian, yeah. Amerindian. Oh, for real? You don't better, want to mess with me. With I, I improved my uh, gun skill while I was sleeping last night. It's the wrong day to mess with me. Look go. at that, two, three damage? Yeah. So why for the Nian sign are they using the Yen symbol? Because <laughs> it's new Yen, right? No, <laughs> oh, God. Well, where's the umlaut over the U? <laughs> Damn it. All right. Father's right. Oh, I put R. Yeah. Oh, oh, I open. Yeah, hitting R totally works for that. Okay. Awesome. Father's right. Father's right. Crypt door. Crypt door. There you go. Okay. How would you ever know to do that? Right? Maybe if you examine the crypt door, the words. Yeah, maybe like, if I had a scalpel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, coffin lid. Nothing special here. Okay. I'm totally going to go into a crypt when I go home today. Oh, God, what? what? Uh. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the combat music starts and then fades out again. Wait, no? No good on the R? L. Oh, hello. I'm a shaman. Okay, all right, I, I guess I must kill you. You put him down. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Maybe? <laughs> oh, crap, I'm sorry. It's still... What's the... There we go. Come on, show yourself. Hey, we know you're coming back. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Come. Scary, ghoul. Spooky, scary. Just so what's the deal? I mean, is there no yeah, shaman in here? Do I have to kill the ghoul to uh, resurrect the shaman? It doesn't say anything about that. It just says... Yeah. There were other crypts. Maybe are these? It says, head over the cemetery and use a scalpel on the farthest right crypt door. Use the handy slap patch you've been saving on the Indian shaman. I do not see an Indian shaman on which to use it. Yeah, let's see a little closer. Let's see, try to open that 
The dude popped up, so yeah, it happens there. Nothing special here. here. Too far away. Oh, yeah, way too far away. Alright, uh, maybe no. not this one. Maybe, maybe there's another crypt. Maybe this is not, maybe I misunderstood the definition of furthest right. <laughs> maybe. I mean, there's none back that way. Yeah. Just go with all of them. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um, let's see what happens if you examine it. Something sharp. Oh, yeah, there see, you that's go. how you would know. Oh. Look at that dude is hanging out the, <laughs> those bars. <laughs> gonna happen. Hey, what hey. do we got here? There you go. Oh, money. It's a new yen. Wait. Don't mess with me. Oh. I'm picking up this money. I love how they just pop out the music, switches to the combat music, and then they just go right back down. That's great. <laughs> Pete Pete, 1984 says, I'm sorry, Jake, the shaman isn't another crypt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, apparently you will hear him if you're next to the correct crib. But then the instant question becomes like, is that, is that true when the the action music's out? Right. Well, why not just go in all of them? <laughs> Except that, yeah. The, the chat is reminding us that the zombies actually get stronger with each spawn, so be careful. Really? Ooh. Yeah, but you can grind uh, grind here for some uh, karma. Karma? Oh, that's not a bad idea. So it was the farthest left drift. <laughs> <laughs> By right, they meant left. Thanks, Internet. He's in great pain. Cannot speak. Slap that, that man. <laughs> <laughs> but this inventory. Oh, are you kidding me? Does not have the slap. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, sorry, oh. dude. Uh, That's awesome. You have yeah. to keep writhing in pain. It's awesome. All right. Later, Shaman. Screw you, Shaman. I'm going to a Maria Mercurial concert. <laughs> <laughs> Got better things to do with my time. Should we see the, the concert real let's, quick? Uh, let's let's uh, get to there. that yeah. club, see what happens in there, and then call it call it a stream. All right. Hey, I got some tickets. Oh, maybe I have to use ticket. Okay. So in the future when we're doing these streams, we'll try to give you guys a little bit more of a heads up. Um, but we're going to try to make this a regular thing, you know? Yeah, um, absolutely. We'll talk to the community people, see if we can't get something going in the forums. I'll maybe start a thread and field some requests from you guys, let you know what we're thinking about, let's see how you feel. And, uh, <laughs> Look yeah. at that. Look at this dance. Well, I thank everyone right. for watching. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, Maria Mercury. Woo! Thank you, Lebron. Maybe. I don't want to hear it. Maybe. We should turn this into a real song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just met you. And this is crazy. Let's feel the same way, too. All right. I love that drummer. Look at the hair on that drummer. I really enjoy yeah. cruising fast with you. All right. Well, there you go. Shadow Run. Maria Mercurial, take us out. There you go. <laughs> Play us out. <laughs> We're doing it live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I think we're back to the first verse. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching. It's Peter Brown with Carolyn Pettit, Ryan McDonald. It's our retro stream. Look forward to more of these. Thanks again, everybody. It's easy.